an exotic species that shouldn't be anywhere near the U.S. Like I said, when you find one, you often find more. 20 years ago, there were none out here. Now, there are an estimated 30,000 flourishing and breeding. If you see a snake, is to back away, walk away quietly. More times than not, a snake is not going to come after you, chase you, bite you. They really don't want to have anything to do with you. Tonight, one of the stars of the reality show Swamp Brothers is slammed with charges. A Philadelphia grand jury accuses the star, Robert Kezzy, and his business partner of wildlife trafficking. Uh, the two co-own a farm in one of uh, Florida's largest exotic reptile stores. And it's been made famous on this hit Discovery Channel show called Swamp Brothers. Take a look at this. Swamp Brothers. Meet Robbie. This is his swamp. Where the hell's Steven? Robbie runs the largest venomous snake farm in the world. Glater Farm has been around for 20 years. It's my life's passion. I want to be clear. Only one brother, the one you just saw in the hat, is being charged. Federal prosecutors say Robert and his business partner, not shown on the show, took protected snakes from the wild in New York and Pennsylvania and transported them to Florida in 2007 and 2008 to sell at their farm in violation, allegedly, of federal wildlife laws. I, I want to bring in Jenny Aaron Smith, author of Stolen World. And uh, you're an expert in reptile poaching. You've gone undercover to investigate black market trade for exotic animals. What do you make of these charges? Well, it's interesting because these charges are actually, f they, they stem from an act that's actually several years old. The, the, the offenses they committed were in, in 2007 and 2008. Um, and it, it's a federal law that was, that was triggered because when you take an animal out of one state illegally, uh, and transport it to another state, yes, you do trigger federal law, but, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because I, it seems a relatively small case. There are about 20 snakes in total involved in this case, and um, there would be fewer if one of the snakes involved didn't, uh, didn't give live birth to something like 15 offspring. So the actual number of snakes being... Let me ask you this, Jenny. Why, yeah. is this, why does this matter? Are, are snakes important to the ecosystem? Is it a problem sure. to sure. take sure. snakes sure. out of the wild? Sure. Right. I mean, the, first of all, they are they're protected under various laws. Timber rattlesnakes, which is one of the, the species that was um, important in this case, uh, were, were nearly eradicated in, in some, some northern states. Um, for years, they had bounties on them. And then in, in the 1970s and 80s, conservationists began to understand that, you know, that, that this, these bounties were killing off a species that, of course, has, has a, role, a role in the ecosystem. Um, and so that's why, that's why they started to become protected under federal law. At the same time, the number of snakes involved in this particular case is so small that I can't... And let me jump in for a second, because I want to say all parties involved are well Welcome on this show anytime we reached out to everybody involved in this case uh, and uh, wanted to talk to them about the charges filed in the indictment. The only one to comment was Robert's attorney. He says his client is innocent and he will defend the case vigorously. We only have a couple of seconds left. Jenny, um, yeah. some people don't have a lot of respect for snakes. I say they're nature's creatures and they are sentient beings. They feel pain. Uh, they need to be treated with respect and sure. we need to acknowledge their place in the wild. They're not uh, widgets that just can be picked up and moved and transported in boxes. Um, what say you about the importance of respecting snakes in nature? Well, I mean, I think I think everyone, including probably the plaintiffs in this case, not, not the plaintiffs, I'm sorry, the defendants in this case would have to agree that um, that snakes have a place in nature and that you know, we don't have to defend them saying that they do favors for human beings. They, they control vermin or whatever. That's, that's kind of an antiquated way of defending them. They're there because they're supposed to be there. They have a right to be there, you know, and, that, and that's why these laws exist. I think it's important to look at. I mean, there's, there's so many uh, people who really don't regard them as animals worth caring about, but they are. Uh, they are here. They're part of nature. They're part of our ecosystem. And when these little creatures, uh, like snakes and bees uh -huh. don't exist anymore, our entire ecosystem collapses. That's what could happen down the road. Look at the um, complete wiping out of the, wild, of the migratory bee population. It's a collapse, yes. and it's creating a huge problem. We're going to talk more about this on the other side. 
Let's take a look at Robert Kezzy in action on his farm as seen on the Discovery Channel show Swamp Brothers. Check it out. Grab it, seriously! You got the bike gloves Whoa. on. Grab it out here, out here, away from the rocks. Oh my God! Here, take the bike gloves. That's a rattlesnake, dude. I see. <laughs> He's striking. Yeah, he is. Here, here. Okay, I can't hold him. Okay, oh can God. you get him? Yeah, yeah. Go. Son of. A oh my. God. In the indictment, Roberts accused of smuggling several species of snake across state lines, including eastern timber rattlesnakes. Only a couple of seconds. You know, Jenny, sometimes if you really love animals, the best thing you can do is leave them alone if they're in the wild, correct? Well, yeah, and, and that's why there are laws reflecting that. Leave them alone. Let them live their lives. We as human beings feel this necessity to interfere and put our stamp on everything. And unfortunately, more and more species are becoming extinct. There's some kind of species extinction clock out there that every couple of seconds, it seems like we're losing another species. And it's not man versus nature anymore. It's really, we're both on the same side. If they go and our ecosystem collapses, we're going with them.